In this demonstration, I'll be showing the Kanzi workflow based on Kanzi Studio and Kanzi Connect. Uh, in the setup, we have a laptop running the Kanzi Studio project. We have a cluster running on commercial target hardware uh, based on Linux. We also have an Android-based uh, IVI application. And we've also brought into the setup an Android phone. What ties all these together is Kanzi Connect, which allows us to share any data and any services across any displays. For example, uh, if I change the song that's playing on the phone, we can see the song changing across all the devices. Similarly, when I turn on the gyroscope on the phone, and uh, when I wiggle the phone, you can see the data from the gyroscope reflected across all of the devices in real time. A new feature of Kanzi Connect is the simulator. The simulator uh, running here in a browser allows us to provide simulated data into the design process. Now what I'd like to show is how easy it is to make design changes and to deploy them to target hardware. In this project, we have a blank page. And first thing I'll do is I will bring three pre-made widgets onto the page. We have a speedometer, and we have a sphere, a colored sphere here, and we have a media player. As you can see, the speedometer uh, is already pulling in data from the, uh, the simulation. So the first thing I want to do is to bring the cover art for the track that's playing into the media player. And I will create the binding between the data source and the property simply by dragging and dropping. And now you can see the cover art is shown across all of the displays, including the studio project. The second thing I want to change here is the color of the sphere and I want to tie that to the drive mode. Uh, as you can see, the properties of the sphere, we have 0, 1, and 2, which relate to green, blue, and red. And I want to tie those to uh, eco mode, normal mode, and sport mode. And again, all I do is I drag the data source onto the property to create the binding. Now when I go to the simulator and I change the drive mode from eco to normal to sport, we can see the color of the sphere changing. So now the final step is to export this project and put it on target hardware. So uh, no compiling is required. All I have to do is export the binary like this and then simply drag it across to the target hardware. And when I restart the application on target, now we can see the live project. If I go over to the display that we were just editing, we can see the media player the drive mode sphere and the speedometer implemented. So that's how easy it is to design, iterate, test with simulated data, and deploy to target hardware with Kanzi Studio and Kanzi Connect.